Hey YouTube, uh, this is, uh, I wouldn't really call it a reply video. Uh, I would pretty much call it a supplemental video uh, to DTG Taihu Jitsu. Uh, his video on using a walking stick uh, for self-defense. Um, when I uh, first started studying karate, I was uh, primarily on the crutches uh, because of some chronic medical problems, I am now primarily in a wheelchair. But I do occasionally end up, uh, occasionally uh, walk on crutches. Uh, when I was uh, studying karate, I had to pretty much uh, break my technique up into techniques I would do sitting, techniques I would do leaning against uh, a wall or uh, some sort of a protrusion or techniques I would do if I was on the ground. Uh, because of this, uh, I developed uh, some basic techniques that I do with my crutches. Now, one of the, te the techniques are quite simple. Basically, if a guy were to kick at me, uh, my uh, response would be to swing my crutch up straight up in the air, catching his knee or his ankle. What I, my goal is to damage his leg. Uh, I personally uh, feel that disabled persons uh, need to concentrate more on limb destruction techniques rather than uh, going for the body, basically because <clears throat> the body in most situations is going to be out of reach. Uh, the technique that I would do if I was striking uh, my opponent's body would be similar to a fast draw, uppercut, or straight punch. It would basically just be like so, keeping my elbow in my body, into my body. I don't want to flare my arm out like this. The reason being is I don't want to give my opponent uh, a heads up of what I'm going to do. If I were to bring my crutch up like this and then strike, I'd have my crutch up like this and then he'd have me on the floor. Uh, there's a situation in which uh, I might uh, swing my crutch up and he might grab my crutch. Most disabled have just enough balance that if they have a person grab their crutch, what they can do with the other crutch is bring it up and attack the hand that has grabbed the crutch. That's another technique that I would do. Uh, the techniques involve angles more than anything. The technique is, is simply to bring the crutch up like this or in like this. You can attack the legs. That, that would be a much shorter distance. You can attack an incoming arm. If a person's got a knife, He's not necessarily going to be within arm's length when he first pulls the knife out and brandishes the knife. He will be probably an arm's length plus maybe 50%. So you're going to have some distance between you and your opponent. If this happens, the technique is basically to hit the wrist or the back of the hand. My hand. Uh, arms are a little bit sweaty from being outside. I tried to do this uh, outside, but uh, didn't work too well. Uh, too many cars. Anyway, that's basically the techniques. If uh, you know a guy grabs your wrist, he's going to give you enough balance. I'm not sure if you're going to see this in the video, but say he's grabbed your crutch. Now, if he's grabbed your crutch, he's Pulling, pushing, he's, he's basically trying to get 
the crutch away from you so that he can beat you to death with it or whatever. And when he's grabbed the crutch, you basically just want to swing the crutch up like so, striking his hand. Same way with the other hand, of course, like so. Now you can do a technique like this if you've got a cane. You would strike up like so and then do the equivalent of an abanico like so if you had a cane. Uh, this is just not balanced for a technique like that so uh, I would use it primarily like so and it would just ba basically be straight in for a uh, strike to the body like so. I'm not sure if you actually see the end of my crutch. Uh, there's a wall protrusion that I'm striking with the uh, crutch. That's my target. And uh, that's basically it. If a guy were to bend forward and grab at my crutch while his body is down low, uh, the target is his head or his arm or his hand. Uh, basically, that's it. Thank you.